So I had a subscriber talk to me about how I clean my stencils and they couldn't get Murphy's Oil overseas where they were. So you can see here I have dirty stencils like when you jelly plate and you do the crusty bits. So what I've done is I've made three solutions here with different oils to test out. So I have on the far left I have baby oil. In the middle I have uh, olive oil and on the far right I have um, the Murphy's oil. Usually the Murphy's oil is what I use and I usually let my stencils soak about 24 hours. I don't usually clean my stencils that often. Um, maybe about twice a year. Usually when they get really bad and they're really crusty and it's kind of you're losing some of the definition of the stencil. So what I'll do is I'll just pull each stencil up and just sort of show you how it has worked. These have only sat in the water for two hours. Um, and so this it's not going to be as easy as if you say left them to, to full 24 hours. But we'll see. And like I said, this one, you can just push it with your hand very gently and it just pulls right off. The original stencil is red. So the red that you're seeing is not the paint. That's the stencil. Uh, the paint was a dark turquoise color. And you can see that it just pulls right off. And here's a different stencil. And you can see I just barely wipe my hand across and I get straight down and the paint comes off. You can even take a damp rag and gently remove it. You do want to be careful if you have uh, delicate stencils doing this. And you can see it's cleaned it right down to the original stencil. Alright, so the next one I'm going to look at is the olive oil. And this one worked pretty good. It's sliding off. It's not as easy as the Murphy's oil, but I'm using very little pressure. Um, usually you can just slide your fingernail right along the, the stencil. This was a yellow stencil. So the yellow that you're seeing is the original stencil material. But you can see that it removed pretty gently. And again, these have only soaked a couple hours. If they had um, soaked a longer time, then I think it would come off even easier. And again, you can remove it using a rag. Even your more delicate stencils, you can get the paint off. You just need to be a little bit more gentle. Um, on this one, it's got a lot of PBO or metallic paints with the micas that I use a lot. So it's a little harder to remove. Um, and because it's delicate, I'm trying not to tear it. This was an originally a green stencil, so that the green you'll see is the original stencil. But it really, again, is just coming right off 
with just a little bit of pressure. It does work a little better in the Murphy's Oil, but you can see even off the delicate stencils it will remove all the paint. Alright, so let me switch this out and put the baby oil in the middle. Now, the baby oil did not really work. I'm having to really apply a lot of pressure and the paint just doesn't want to, to move or pull off. The olive oil was much easier. The, the Murphy's oil is still the best in my opinion. But if you can't get the Murphy's oil, at least there's an alternative. Now, I did find on Amazon that there was a different brand available in the UK called 151 Oil Soap. So I do think there is an alternative that you could get that might work just as well. I also think maybe Armor All might work. Now, you can also use the Murphy's Oil Soap to remove gel medium from your brushes. Usually what I do is I put the Murphy's Oil in a glass container and I swish it around and I get it really into the brush and I let it sit for a while and then I add the wa water and the soap and let it sit overnight. Usually I don't put the water level up much higher than the brush but it'll remove all of the gel medium and it'll be like almost like a brand new brush again. Um, I would have thrown brushes away in the past and this is really saved, especially gel medium brushes. It will remove gesso from the brushes, acrylic paint. It does a really good job. Well, thanks for watching.